Hello and welcome. Uh, today we're just going to look at creating our own analytic rule. It's going to be a simple one, but it's going to be effective in the sense where it's actually going to trigger some shit. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So when we're talking about the analytic rule, we're talking about, you know, the ones that are in Sentinel. Uh, yeah, not the Sentinel uh, like that. Um, cool. So once you're logged into Azure Sentinel, look to the uh, left. You should be able to see um, a sub menu that is called analytics. So go ahead and click on that. Um, you should be able to see a screen with quite a few active rules already that is in your environment. If there are none, well, then your Sentinel is pretty much useless. You are useless. You are going to be useless at G7. Just a year, you're going to embarrass us. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and create our own one. All right. Um, select create at the top and then select scheduled query rule. All right. Because that's what we want. We want a rule that's going to be, um, you know, scheduled. So, so we're going to make this one sign in from plug IT. All right. Um, yeah, let's leave that L like that, just so that it's a little bit intentional, so that we know that it's us that did this, you know. Um, so let's have a little bit of fun. We can put some in the description. Let's see what it says. Hey, you. Yes, you. An alert triggered. Whoops, spelling rubbish. Triggered. Do something. All right, cool. So tactics, this is just, you know... Uh, so that you can get more information uh, about, you know, when the, the alert actually triggers. If you're not the one that is going to be monitoring, if you're just setting this up, then, you know, this would be nice to have, you know, setting up the tactics, what you'd like. You've got lateral movement, discovery, what have you. I'm just going to select initial access uh, just because, uh, so that there's something there. The uh, severity, uh, we can change between informational, low, medium, high. Yeah, you, you can decide what you want to do depending on your um, alert logic. Um, let's go. Let's click next here, next at rule logic. Let's see what's going on. Cool, another screen. Cool. So as I said, we're going to be using a very simple analytic. This is just going to tell us when the plug IT um, identity actually logs in. So let me let's set this up. You know, let's let's talk. Let's start with the uh, table sign in logs. By by the way, I meant to say that yeah, these rules are performed. They are done in KQL. Um, that's the uh, native language for everything or most things that you see in Azure Sentinel. All right, cool. So we started off with the table sign-in logs, all right? We're going to say where the username or user principal name can only be plug-it at hotmail.com. Cool, cool, cool. All right, next line, we'll pipe that in um, and we'll say where the result type remember when you're changing the uh there's two words in there you got to use a capital t when using result type either way equals zero and i'll give you three seconds to guess what the zero means that's one two three don't know that means that it's a successful sign in wonderful great stuff cool so we've got it we you know basically saying that you know, in the sign-in logs, read from the sign-in logs, where the user principal name uh, only contains, uh, you know, plug it at hotmail.com, and where the result is successful, all right, then we're going to say, okay, cool, make, you know, a query, all right, so I'm going to, just for the sake of, um, you know, just so we can speed things up, all right, let's make this every five minutes, all right, we'll look up data from the last 10 minutes all right so that's going to be cool it's going to be a simple nice and sweet quick query all right and of course we're going to set the threshold uh, so that it can be greater than zero of course so that means you know if this should just occur one time then it's going to create an incident all right cool so let's look down below let's just see a nice to have here event grouping configure how rule query results are grouped into alerts so of course we want this to be grouped into one single alert we don't want 10,000 uh triggers when we uh you know have this uh trigger an incident we just you know want to do it one time of course all right and then let's go next okay we also see suppression here stop running after alert is generated so this is also important for your future um 
endeavors when creating analytics, this is also very important. Sometimes when it comes to certain things, you just want to be notified once, not 20,000 times because you do get alerts that do trigger that amount of times. You know, for instance, like, you know, failed sign-ins, repeated failed sign-ins, and then, you know, it's not grouped. And what makes it even worse, it doesn't suppress it. So just imagine what your scene is going to be looking like um, after that. Yeah, over to the right, to the right. Oh, hey, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Right, next up, let's just click next, incident settings. So we're just looking at this. Azure Sentinel alerts can be grouped together in an incident and should be looked into. All right. So yeah, we want to keep this enabled because we want it to create incidents in Sentinel. What's next below? Alert grouping. Well, it said how the alerts are triggered by this analytics rule are grouped into incidents. Well, I'll tell you what, in this case, we've already set the suppression. So I don't think this is necessary in this sense. Um, if you look below, you can see the different options here. You know, enable it and the limit the the group to alerts created within the selected time frame. It's five hours. I mean, you can adjust this, of course, how you see fit. Group alerts triggered by this analytic rule into a single incident by, and there you have these options. For instance, if you wanted to select uh, grouping alerts into single incident, if the selected entity types and details match such and such. Well. Um, you know, you could specify that, of course, as per your environment, you know, if you want the entities to match up to a certain something. But we're not doing that today. No, let us click on next. All right, great. Alert automation. Well, it would be nice to have, but I do not have a playbook that is going to trigger anything for me right away. So we'll skip this step, you know, maybe in another video, you know, or you can actually check out my other videos that do talk about uh, the different playbooks that or how to make playbooks and and logic apps and what they do. But we're going to skip this part because it's not really necessary. Imagine uh, we don't want this triggering, you know, every single time, um, you know, someone signs in. All right, cool. Incident automation. Let's see. No, we don't want anything about this. What does it say? View all automation rules that will be triggered by this analytics rule and create new automation rules. The automation rule will receive the incident as it is as input, as will any playbook called by the automation rule. Right, so basically this is just adding an automation rule, you know, uh, sometimes it would coincide with the playbook, but of course we are not doing that, we are just creating an analytic. Next, review us, you know, what we've just created. Right, cool, that's the name, this is the description, we've got the tactics, haha, -ha, looks like the validation has passed, so we can just click on create. So yeah, um, it's the rule clearly, it's going to look for when plug it at hotmail.com signs in successfully. It's going to run every five minutes and it's going to look back on 10 minutes of data. It will create a query, um, you know, after, you know, if it just triggers once. And of course, it groups everything into a single alert. And I think it's going to stop for five hours once this alert is triggered, you know, because, well, we don't want an alert every time, should we? Uh, cool. Let's click on create. And we wait. And we wait. And there you go. Uh, yeah, looks like the rule has been created. So now, of course, whenever Plug IT signs in, um, an alert will be triggered, and that will be revealed in the incidents in Azure Sentinel. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to comment below. Um, you're more than welcome. Otherwise, just give us a like. Peace.